Hi, this is Epic M Studios coming at you with a tutorial for making uh, sort of real-time fluid simulations in Blender. Now, we're actually not going to delete the default cube, and we're going to we're going to make a sort of swimming pool type thing. All right, so let's delete the top face. So delete faces. And I'm actually going to enable screencast keys. So um, screencast keys, so that you can see what I'm doing. Start the display. Now we're going to scale it. Um, let's hit Shift Z, so it won't scale it on the z-axis. And well, let's scale it on the x-axis, kind of make it smaller that way. And you know what? That's good enough. That is good enough for a swimming pool. So that's a sun. And we're going to add just a tiny bit of ambient occlusion. Not not too much, but just a bit so the render actually looks okay. Um, Trial numpad zero. GZ. So that looks good. Now we're going to add our actual water. Now we're going to add a plane for that, scale it on the, nope, scale it on the x-axis, scale it on the y-axis. Now we don't need it to, we just want it to be just inside of the pool shape, because for this we're going to add a solidify modifier, which should make it, instead of just a, a two-dimensional thing, it should solidify it, kind of in the title. So that looks dandy. And so now, this is also useful for like fish tanks for dropping stuff in. Now we're going to, um, first of all, um, to the water, water, we're going to need to add more geometry. So you can add a subdivision surface modifier for that, which would be, which is really easy. So it's a simple, we'll not do any interpolation. Alright, and actually, so we don't have to go to that many levels, I'm going to uh, subdivide it. And yeah. So, next, to actually make it so the water can be uh, it's actually kind of morphed, we are going to add dynamic paint and we're going to select canvas we don't want it to be a brush this is the thing that the brushes are going to be drawing on let's add a canvas now the surface type instead of paint let's set it to waves that's going to look good All right let's hit alt a and let's add or not just yet don't hit alt a yet i'm going to add an icosphere we're also going to make dynamic paint for that, but this is going to be a brush, right? And now, if we hit Alt A, you can see some waves are starting to form. And if we move this around, yeah, it looks pretty good. And you can see they bounce back at us, bounce back, just like in a real swimming pool. So if you wanted to say, just drop this you could do that uh, or drag it around you can also do that very easily now you might want to be careful with the waves coming up a bit too high so don't drag it around too much um, you can use this for like ships in the ocean which is a very cool thing that you can do um, and let's set the shading to smooth, no, to smooth on the water. And that looks pretty good. That's that's a very pleasing material. Now for the sun, just to make this a good render. All right, let's just start it at this frame. And yeah, you can see that doesn't look very good. Let's add sky and atmosphere to the sun. 
and we're going to also add not ambient occlusion but environment lighting and let's set that to and also the sky color so that's a one and now the shadows soften okay so a combination of both looks good so selecting sky and atmosphere we got that nice effect um, and the rendered view yeah it looks pretty good and now if we go back to solid you can actually do this in cycles which I think will look better let's go into cycles render now because of that our sky and atmosphere doesn't work sadly but we can do something better we can go to the color select sky texture and then let's just bring it over here and actually let me go into the rendered view and let's set it to preset pre or preset whatever it is set it to that And now that we've set it to that, we actually don't need a sun. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to... Okay. So we don't need a sun because of that, and we can just have the environment actually lighting the whole thing. So, if we go into render it again, you can see the environment is lighting the whole thing and so now selected the water I assume okay, green. no okay that's not the water um, let's just make this a white and we'll, bring, we'll make it gray and for the water we got a new material and for this we're gonna make it a glass glossy glossy glass And wow, that's taking a while to render. Um, what if we made it a glossy shader? That looks okay. You could work with that. But I think the glass actually is more photorealistic because you can see the ball underneath it. But if we look at our render now, and see we have the waves there and everything, but we also have this. Now, something else you can do for the materials to make it more realistic, looking split area here, and we're going to add a compositing or node editor. So we can edit the materials using nodes. Now this is going to look really, really good. Just, just warning you, it might look too good for you. It won't look good. Uh, no, it will. Um, we're going to add. Wait. Can we get the dynamic paint influence? I don't know actually. So wait. We go into weight paint. The text paint. Texture paint. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna add this like really cool looking thing. Um, instead of this being all glass and everything, we're going to use some mixed shaders to make the material look more realistic. So instead of it being this kind of black looking thing, really ugly, you know, type of thing. We're going to add a transparent shader, which will make the water kind of more transparent, so you can actually see under it. 
This is like more realistic for actual water than the other thing. And let's actually make the water kind of that nice chlorine blue color, not green. This color, very nice bright white. Um, I think we might have done a bit too much of that. And now, we've got this nice looking swimming pool type thing. Um, I'm actually going to set that to 0.8. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Now let's see how much it reflects. Because water at shallow angles actually does reflect. reflect. Move that with the sphere. So let's take a look at that. And is the sphere actually in the water? Yes, it is. I'm so sorry. And as you can see, it does reflect a lot. And what we can also do, we can add an actual texture. Alright? And let's set it to a noise texture. And let's add that to the displacement of this. Let's see what happens. So you can see right here, it might be more viewable if we go to the rendered view. You can see we have more of a wavy texture, even where there aren't waves, like little ripples. That might be a bit, a bit too ripply, but you can see it waves that right there. It creates waves, uh, which make it look more realistic of course let's drag this out and you can see we have nice looking water now it's just looking pretty good got that really nice looking thing right there so you can get these cool effects like that with your water so um, I hope this helped you um, I think it looks pretty realistic pretty good you can make these nice little swimming pools you can use it for fish tanks pretty much anything anything you want that um, involves moving water um, so yeah, I hope this helps you in your animation adventures, adventures in animation. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, goodbye.